In this video, we want to show that um, using Sheva's theorem, um, this Nagel point exists. And the Nagel point um, comes about by drawing in a triangle and its X circles. And the X circles are found by extending the sides of the triangle and drawing in the um, circles that are tangent to the side of the triangle and then the two extended sides of the triangle. And then I'm just going to do a very rough sketch of this. So it looks something like that. Those are the three X circles. And what this one's worried about is if we call these points A, B, and C, and then call the points opposite A1, B1, and C1, that these Chevians, when drawn in, are concurrent. Well, by Sheva's theorem, then we must have that AB1 over B1C times CA1 times A1B times BC1 times AC1. If you multiply it all together, if those equal 1, then these are concurrent with each other. Well, to do this, to show this, we use a theorem that says the distance from a vertice to a point of tangency um, on the opposite side, uh, on the same line though, so that point right here, which we can call k, so ck equals the semi-perimeter. And so this can be proven by looking at equal tangents. For now, we're just going to take it as fact. And so if ck equals the semi-perimeter, and by equal tangents, bk and bc1 are the same, then we could say that cb plus bc1 equals the semi-perimeter. Okay, and that's because CB plus BK makes up CK, and BK and BC1 are the same. Then, it's also true in the opposite direction over here, where this is L, that BL is equal to the semi-perimeter. So using the same logic, we could say that BC, or CB, plus CB1 also equals the semi-perimeter. Well, as you can um, deduce from these two statements, if... Um, we take a segment that's the same length and we add on something and that equals a semi-perimeter, then whatever we add on must be the same. So from this, we can get BC1 equals CB1, and that allows us um, to know that the ratio of these two, BC1 over CB1 equals 1. And then we can further, um, from that, we know, um, we can deduce, because the logic there was completely gener generalized, then we can reduce, deduce the exact same one thing, which is CA1 um, over C1A equals 1 for the same reason, and then um, AB1 over B1A also equals 1. To prove our theorem, what we do then is multiply these all together. So BC1 over CB1 times CA1 times C1A times a b1 over b1a. Well, multiply together, those all equal 1. Rearranging them so that it fits this, you can see that you have an a b1 on top and a b1c on bottom. You have a um, c a1 on top and an a um, a1b um, on bottom, which should have been here. Got this one backwards, a1b. And then BC1 on top and AC1 um, on bottom. So you can rearrange those to show that that is true. And if that is true by Chevy's theorem, then these three point three um, Chevians um, are concurrent at a single point, and that single point is called the Nagel point. 